It has been so long since I have played this game. And by so long, I mean like it's been literally a week, dude. It's been like a week. If I don't play a video game for a week, I, I, I have no idea how to play that video game anymore. <laughs> That's just the way it works. So we need to get uh, we need to get back into this. So hopefully there's a lot of new people in the verse after Christmas, you know, welcome to the verse. Merry Christmas. Happy Christmas. However you say it where you are, if you celebrate it. If you're just joining the verse and you're wondering how to make money, this is what I do. I, I do bounty missions. You go into your contracts tab down here, contracts manager. Go to your bounty hunter section. If you have a crime stat, this is not going to work, okay? But if you don't have a crime stat and if you're in good standing with the law, that's what you do. And you'll see here a list. Yours will be a lot smaller than mine. You don't have a apprehend suspect yet unless you've killed a real player who has a bounty on him. And you'll see wanted next to the rated bounties. Wanted, name, and then the level of the bounty. That means it's an NPC. Real players right here, they don't have a rating next to them. And it says apprehend suspect, depending on what uh, system you're in. But you can tell, like, this is obviously not a name. This is a player who made up this name. This is sounds kind of like a real name. That's an NPC. So you'll have an LRT here or you'll have a VLRT. And it's not going to pay you anything. Like it's going to pay you like four grand to uh, to kill this guy. But once you do enough of them, you'll get you'll get a contract in here that's that's uh, has something like evaluation or apprentice or uh, journeyman or something. Um, and that's what you want to accept. It's the one that you normally have to pay for it. You have to pay to do it. It'll say down here. It'll give you a number of the things you're going to pay for. But you want to do those as quickly as you can because the because as soon as you get from VLRT to LRT, they start paying you more and you go from LRT to MRT. When you earn that certification, they pay you more and then you go from MRT to HRT. Look, I got one of those. It pays you even more. And then you've got what I'm doing. They start giving you group assignments, which are super efficient. Uh, and then they got VHRTs and they pay you more. And even after that, you can go up to groups of ERT missions, which have a hammerhead in them normally. And that pays you $87,000 for just one of them. And you can do one of those when you get up there in like you know, 10 minutes. Depending on what you have, if you got a, if you got torpedoes, you could do them in a lot less. But And then you add your call to arms on there, which you go to your mercenary tab. And it will be right here. You have it accepted. Go to my accepted in mercenary. It looks like this. All two arms. And that gives you bonuses for everyone you kill. Depending on your rep. If your rep is really high, like mine, then you will get paid. You know, you could get paid up to $100,000 for an ERT group. So that's why I like bounties. Because you can do them quickly. Uh, bunker missions are good too. See, assistant defending site. I don't do too many of those. That's why it doesn't pay me very much. But you can get really high in uh, payments for these too, like multiple hundreds of thousands of dollars. The problem with uh, bunker missions is that... Uh, let's go get this guy. The problem with bunker missions is that they're pretty buggy a lot. And until they're fixed, I don't think they're very efficient. They can be fun. Uh, but... Like sometimes the enemies don't spawn, sometimes the turrets are hostile. And even if it's not bugged out, it can still take you just a long time, depending on how fast they're spawning, depending on, you know, you could have a security guard just randomly shoot you for no reason, you know, like stuff can happen in bunkers that, uh, like doesn't happen too much in the bounty targets. The bounties can glitch out too, for sure, but it doesn't happen as much as uh, it does in the bunker missions. Bro, I am seriously slow right now. Like my brain, I barely remember what does what. I feel like this missile is kind of bugged right now, but it's okay. It shouldn't really do much. Boom. That's the beauty of bounty targets is I don't have to kill all of them. That just took me like, what, 45 seconds to kill that dude? And uh, we're good. I can just leave the escorts behind. I would suggest killing them uh, when you're first starting out because the more practice you get the better right but you don't get any money for it I mean yeah you, you actually do get you get call to arms bonus but it's more important that you take as little time as possible if you want to make your grind as efficient as possible look on the one hand 
It's all about the journey. You're gonna get you're gonna get your ship that you wanted to get, and then you're gonna have nothing to do because now that you've got the ship you wanted to get, there's nothing to grind for. You know, that will happen. So don't you don't need to be in too much of a rush. But at the same time, if you're someone who just values efficiency like me, then that's what you should do. Weigh the opportunity cost versus the actual cost of the mission versus the profit versus the cost of repair and refuel. You know, and then you got yourself a little algorithm, a little formula you can use versus uh, the time it will actually take to complete the mission, you know? For me, I'm just trying to get back in the swing of things, trying to remember how to how to fight. I forgot to set my power back to neutral. That's one of the other things I really like about doing bounty targets is while you're earning money, you're also developing your skills as a pilot. Now, fighting against NPCs is a lot different than fighting against a decent, uh, human pilot but the mechanics of the ships and the way the ship uh, operates you know your controls and getting used to that stuff it's going to be the same so it helps you regardless the more seat time you get in your ship the more effective you're going to be piloting it around defending yourself attacking people whatever you're choosing to do oh desync Oh, it's a hurricane. Very sloppy right now. <laughs> I like... I'm working all on muscle memory. I almost just hit something. That's another thing you should remember while doing uh, bounty missions. You want to have... Uh, laser repeaters. 100% of the time. You don't want to be stuck out here with ballistics because every time you have to go back to a station and refuel and rearm because you will run out of ammo, uh, you know, that's time that you could have been earning money. The laser repeaters all the way. EVP is a different story, you know. A lot of people like to run the, uh, the ballistics because they're a little bit higher DPS. I guess that could also be a consideration. You could be, if you run ballistics and you're going after bigger targets you might kill the bigger targets faster and it would be less of a hassle to make going and rearming yourself uh feasible you know there's not there's not just one answer the math can work out in multiple different ways and what's most important is that you're having a, having a good time whatever you can stand doing for the grind you know that's what you have to go with if I wanted to earn the most money that I could in this game, I would be mining, you know. I would be I'd be out with my prospector and I would be I'd be out on uh, Aberdeen mining for Quantanium. Uh but the problem is it's just incredibly boring. And I found it to be pretty buggy, but more so it's just incredibly boring and I cannot do it, you know. I can't sit there and mine. It's just it's not a viable option for me. Look at that view, dude. What a view. It's a view and a half, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's do this. Let's go kill Ernie. <laughs> Sky, another Vanguard. See, the VHRTs are nice because if you have a, a fighter, a small fighter like the Gladius, then you can easily take out the targets. Um, and still get paid a decent amount and there it is all done uh, The ERTs what I just showed you the groups that pay 90,000 those are the best uh, But you really got to have a big ship for that uh, A big ship or an Eclipse or Retaliator, which I do have But it's just a lot less fun than doing uh, than doing this to me. I'm not, I'm not bothering with these guys I just got paid. So you just quantum away doesn't matter where just uh, to get yourself uh, get them to stop missile spamming you. He's gonna ram me and kill me. I know it. <laughs> That's another thing to be careful of. You gotta be careful that these NPC ships don't just ram you for no reason and you die. You gotta be be vigilant of that. Boom. Okay, history. I didn't see how much that paid me, but 61 grand. And it took me like, I don't know, 12 minutes. Like 10 minutes if you don't include, you know, the intro that I did and stuff. So yeah, that's what I think the best way to make to make money is. Mathematically, it's not, but... And then when you get good enough at flying... Look, I've got freaking four bounties here I can go after. 
I'll probably get one of them because the rest of them will either be out of system or they'll be hiding somewhere in like Grim Hex or something. But see those individually, that's just one ship. $35,000. More dangerous, obviously, but you know, there you go. Boom. And you got lots of money. If you want to deal with the bugs and taking the time, but you do get a lot of good loot, do some bunker missions. You know, I suggest doing a bunker mission, as I said in one of my previous videos. Do one of these at the start of your session every day. And you'll get free armor, free guns, free stuff you can sell. And, and you get paid, obviously. And the more you rank these up, the more you get paid. Service beacons are also a really great way to get paid. Especially if you have a big ship. Get one other friend. And you and your friend take your, take your torpedo boats and your big ships. And take the critical threat missions when they come up. They'll pay you 300,000 Alpha UEC. You have to kill an Idris. So again, you need a lot of firepower. But... That's 150 grand split between two people. You can keep grabbing them as they pop up and uh, you'll get rich fast. So there's a lot of ways to make money using combat in this game. There's no need to do investigations. They're a waste of time, research, search, delivery, any of these things. These are all just bad. All right, maintenance too. Any of this stuff, do some mining, do some combat missions, be a trader, a cargo hauler if you want to. Um, that's not something I'm really familiar with, but I know that you can make bank doing that and have fun. That's the most important thing. I hope you find your specific way of, of grinding money in this game. I hope you find a way that, that lets you have the most fun uh, and get, get you that ship that you want, you know? So yeah, welcome to the verse. Join the discord in the description. We got new players in there every day. So we try to help out new players if we can. You never know, maybe you'll find some fun people to play with. Hope to see you out there. Adios.